Jesus. Thank you, Father. And next we're going to hear from Elder Sharon Richardson, who is going to share about what God is saying about the nations and the U.S. and whatever nations. Amen. Amen. I've been charged to speak on nations and governments. And the Lord says, I have in place those who will not bow to unrighteousness. I have in place those who will not yield their convictions. Signs are clear as you look to the new media. There are controlling forces of Baal, Babylon, Dagon, Jezebel, and Ahab in confederation to keep the status quo, even in this era, this season of rapid multiplied change. I have sent my winds of change into the nations. Kings, demonic and natural, will be unseated, dethroned, and stripped of their influence. Watch in the days ahead. You will hear sound bites in the media of corruption, graft being exposed. My people have been praying. They have turned their plate down, humbled themselves, and I have heard their cry. Truly, the next six months will bring surprise establishments of new regimes. Russia and Korea will once again be in the forefront as China is birthed as the leading nation. Their confederation will fall short this season. Their time has not yet come. Much more bloodshed in Egypt, Syria, and Tehran as I unseat the ancients that are the new that are the new battling for position. Don't be deceived. Judgment has come. The war for territory is in the heavens, and former allies are fighting. I have heard the sounds, cries of injustice, the blood of the innocents. Now is the time for my people to arise and stand. Call for my will in the heaven of heavens. Stand and let's declare. But before we do declare, the Lord gave me about the winds of change certain scriptures, and they're included in the declaration. So let me just share those scriptures with you. The first one is Proverbs 10, 25. As the whirlwind passeth, so is the wicked no more. But the righteous is an everlasting foundation. Isaiah 66, 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Yes. Daniel eleven forty. And at the time of the end shall the king of the south push at him, and the king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind, with chariots and with horsemen and with many ships. And he shall enter into the countries and shall overflow and pass over. And so those are the scriptures that are related to this declaration. Would you stand with me so that we can make this declaration? Amen. Because the Lord told us to stand and declare. He said to call for my will in the heaven of heavens. And so repeat after me. God's will be done on earth, will be done on earth. as it is in heaven. Jesus Christ, is Lord Jesus Christ is Lord in the USA. In the USA. Jesus, Christ is Lord Jesus Christ is Lord in Russia. In Russia. Jesus Christ is Lord Jesus Christ is in Lord. China. China. Jesus Christ is Lord, Jesus is Lord. In, Japan. in Japan. Jesus Christ is Lord Jesus Christ 
in the United Kingdom. Jesus Christ is Lord in Canada. Jesus Christ is Lord over the continent of Africa. Jesus Christ is Lord in every government, in every nation, in every kindred, and every tongue. The cup is full, soon to overflow. The war for nations is raging, and the tipping point has come. We release the fire and the winds of the kingdom of God, according to Proverbs 10, 25. And let the wicked be no more. The Lord will come with fire, executing righteousness and judgment in the nations. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.